Hello there. So we are using another example from FastAI book. And this entire FastAI book is available in Jupyter Notebooks. Uh, and this time we are exploring chapter nine and how to use tabular data um, in neural networks. Um, so instead of going through um, this example, I have put together another example. Uh, which assume, which simulates some data randomly. So it has a uh, age, which is simulated between, uh, which is a continuous variable. Gender takes two values, occupation takes three values, and zip code takes four values. With this simulated data, we'll try to estimate the uh, neural network. We put all of that information in the data frame. We make proc, and the proc contains what operations to apply to the data frame. Um, in the tabular um, object and also how do we want to split the data. In tabular object, we need to provide the data frame, the procedure proc, then the name of the categorical variables, name of the continuous variables and the variable that we are trying to predict, which this is also in the same data set. Then we put this into a data loader with batch size of 64. Then we need to create a class. Um, module and we are calling it collab nn we need to provide module uh, embeddings to the mod model list and then we drop about 40 percent of the neurons or the filters this is uh, this has seen to show improvement in the predictions then we calculate the number of continuous predictions we assign that um, the number of total layers then in the modular list what all layers are present and then we do a linear function on that and then this just assigns the same range as our uh, target variable uh, so it would be z between 0 and 1 the forward function would uh, would take the data so uh, gender is in the first column of uh, uh, the data object we created, for example, this thing over here, this is in the first column, occupation is the second column, zip code is in the third column. Um, and then <clears throat> we do a torch um, object on this, uh, concatenate on this, torch concatenate. Uh, and then we also concatenate the continuous variables. After that, we apply ReLU function in a loop for all the layers. And at the end, we apply a sigmoid and the, uh, the output is stored in X, which is return. Then we need to set some of the objects. So, our, so these are the num number of categories in each of the categorical variables. We take one additional category. It's just a good practice, otherwise, it sometimes complains. Continuous variable is just one number of layer is um, number of hidden layers is this. And then we put all of that stuff in a model where we need to provide number of hidden layers and then number of continuous variables, layers, uh, output size and y range, which is 0 and 1. Then we apply a learner on it using um, BCE with logic loss. And then we send it to one cycle training. We should do more trainings here, but this is just for illustration. And then with this, the learner function would have the estimates. We can get the predicted value from the learner function. Um, we are going to do that by uh, firstly getting, um, firstly applying model on the continuous, sorry, categorical and continuous variables, put it in the predict, and then apply sigma to uh, to the to the labels um, and at the end we'll be able to extract all the predicted probabilities right now i have everything is 0 0.5 because i have used random data the target variable has nothing to do with the regressors anyways i'll i'll provide this code as well thank you so much for your attention